what is going on guys we are here again for another installment of stock versus not and as you can see up at the top we are in the 2016 Ford Shelby GT 350R uh, this is the last new Mustang you can buy in the new car dealership on GT7 so we're gonna go ahead and wrap this car up and I believe the only two other street cars that are still in the game under the Ford category are the GT GT 40 cars and then we'll be done uh, driving the Fords um, just as a, as a recap we are not doing any of the race cars because the race cars are already race cars there's not that much tuning capability out of them and it's just kind of we drive them all the time in the daily races so there's really no no need to go in depth with those so as always we're going to go ahead we're going to drive the gt350r in its stock form that you can get it from the dealership and i have another one fully modified ready to go once we're done we are doing three laps around suzuka in the stock car and we will see how bad of a driver i am in the modified car if we need to do four laps or a fifth redemption lap uh, the 2016 GT 350R comes to you with 572 performance points. We have 525 horsepower. It weighs 3,600 pounds. Of course, it is a naturally aspirated front or front engine rear-wheel drive configuration. Off to the right, you'll see our current leaderboard with all the other Fords that we had going on. Currently, the fully modified SVT Raptor is leading at a 49-second lap. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. As you can see, this car does come with the Sports Hards tires. And right off the bat, I can tell you this car is very oversteering, as most Mustangs are, have been known to be. Um, the GT350R is already a very quick car from the factory. So it should put down a decent time from what I am thinking here. And these Sports Hards tires just don't do this car justice at all. Oh, yeah, this is struggling for traction. Once you get off the throttle, that rear end just wants to kick out. And I would assume that that's how this car is in real life. It's just, it's a lot of power and torque from a fairly light vehicle for the most part. I mean, yeah, 3,000 pounds is not the featherweight like a Miata, but with today's standards, it's pretty good, especially if since we live in a world of SUVs and crossovers that are all big, bulky vehicles. All right, first lap, that we did a 59.0. Eight, seven. Let's see if we can get a cleaner lap, get some cleaner lines done on this, and put down a decent lap. Um, I'll be honest with you, out of all the like these like newer retro muscle cars, I want to say that Ford probably does the best looking ones. Um, yeah, Ford probably makes the better looking you know retro muscle car or new retro muscle car. Uh, I would say slowly, closely followed by Dodge. I know that that Challenger is probably the closest thing you'll get to what the old Challengers used to look like. Actually, I mean the new or the current Challenger looks more like the Charger, but whatever. And honestly, the Camaros—it's hit or miss with the Camaros for me. Um, I do know for a fact that sitting in one of these newer Camaros, you can't see a single thing out of them. Um, very small windows, such a large vehicle. And you already know that the Dodges are boats on the road. So the Ford, I would say, is probably the probably the most trackable vehicle out of all of the uh, domestics right now. Alright, so kind of once you get it used to the, the handling of it, uh, as I'm saying that, I go off the track. Anyway, I thought I was getting used to the handling of it. Um... When you drive this car in stock form, what you want to do is just be very mindful of the weight transfer that this thing can give you. And the fact that the Sports Hards tires are just not, just not doing what they need to do. Let's just wrap this lap up. 
5.964. I don't call that respectable for this vehicle. Um, let's be honest, in real life, unless you're a purist and you want to keep it fully stocked, most the uh, most of the owners are probably going to switch those tires out for something um, a lot better. Okay, so that is the stock car. That puts us, where is that? That puts us right under the modified Focus ST. Let's go back to that leaderboard there. Yep, uh, 58.964, just yeah, just under the fully modified Focus ST. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, that is in the channel. That was the front wheel drive version of the Focus ST or Focus. So let's go on and move to the fully modified one. And I want to show you guys here, you're able to engine swap the GT350R with that uh, 351 Windsor. Uh, that is the same exact engine swap that we put in the SVT Raptor. So as you can see, fully modified, they actually put out the same horsepower at 1408. And uh, the only big difference here, obviously we're going to be a rear wheel drive uh, setup and a lot lighter at 3168 versus you know the Raptor is at 4,400 pounds. Um, I am anticipating this to be a rowdy ride. So we we may need to do a couple of redemption laps on this. Um, the Raptor was a lot easier to handle because it was all wheel drive and I was able to get that to a 50-50 split. Yeah, this thing just wants to step out. Look at that. All right, at least the brakes are good. We're on racing soft tires, of course, because if you're going to put sports tires on a $1,400 or $1,400, 14 horse, 1,400 horsepower vehicle, you are just crazy. Let's uh, let's do a feeler lap first because this is a little nuts. It's all about throttle control with this car. Too much, too much beans and you're gonna get this thing facing it in a direction that you do not want it to be facing. Like that! Oh, goodness, okay. I don't even know if it's... All right. This is gonna be a tough one, I know that much. Uh, this will make a good special stage X, or route X, whatever they call that track. Uh, this will be a pretty good candidate if you gear it right. You probably can hit some stupid mile per hour with this car. Well, I would hope so, it's 1400 horsepower. The nice thing is that if you can Keep the throttle happy and not lose the rear. Uh, the tires, they, it does its job, and you can make it through those S's fairly clean. All right, let's just roll into the throttle. Oh, this thing is squirrely. All right, probably. Fourth gear is the sweet spot for this car. I'm not going any lower than third, just to keep those differentials doing something to help us. It's you can see it's wheel spinning in fourth gear. I wonder why. It's it's only 14 supercharged and 1400 horsepower. Or yeah, no turbocharged. Sorry. But this thing is a monster. I I don't I just think with how this car's set up. If I tweak the setups, I might be able to beat that Ford Raptor time, but it's just, this thing was such a handful. Let's short shift it. Jeez, 51 seconds again. Okay. We might have to do a redemption lap with this thing. It just, it just doesn't want to stay straight. That's why we're short shifting the crap out of this car. But, the nice thing about it, it sounds great, and it looks cool. 
that's all that matters. Oh man. We are nowhere near our ghost. I don't think we've ever been near our ghost at all. Um, I, I think it's safe to say that if you're to use this car, it's probably better on like a faster track. Um, one that, I mean, obviously not a, obviously an oval course would probably be great for it, but maybe something that has a little bit more like sweepers, maybe like a street course or something like that. Alright, we're already doing better than the ghost. Alright, this is our redemption lap, so I cannot mess this up at all. I'm just gonna drive this thing like a Honda, just rev limiter all the way. I mean, this thing does rev up to 10,000 RPM according to that tack now. I'm afraid to get it to 10,000 RPM, let's be honest. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, let's get around this turn. I just, I just need a clean exit that does not mean I'm in the wall. Okay, we're going to call it a 50.382. I do not know where that puts us on the leaderboard, but let's just take a take a peek. Um, yeah, that's a rough car. Uh, optimal, if we look down here on the bottom right, looks like it's a 49 second. So that should put us like just a smidge under what the Raptor was. Uh, yeah, so look at that. The... Fully modified GT350R, I was able to get out of 50.38. Uh, the fully modified Mustang was at a 50.1. So, possibly if I got used to the car a little bit more and actually learned how to drive it, I could probably get it below that 50. Uh, the Raptor obviously is still leading in the Ford lineup. That all wheel drive does help you a lot. So, anyways, that is the video for today that is the Shelby GT350R stock versus not um, a lot more rowdier than the Raptor was with the engine swap so keep that in mind if you guys are planning on doing anything with that car and you know online lobbies or even in single player if you want to use that for one of the uh, the missions that they have out there but other than that as always like subscribe leave a comment let me know how i'm doing let me know if there's anything you want to see in particular or if you have any other video ideas but other than that i'm going to shut up and i'll catch you guys in the next one